Hello and welcome to the Wake tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can save the results from Weka into a comma separated value file or CSV file. In doing so, we will take the help of Weka GUI Chooser. So we click on Weka GUI Chooser and this time we will cho we'll choose the experimenter application. So when Weka experiment environment is open, at that time we are with the radio button simple. We have a button named new and we click on new. So at this stage we are dealing with the data sets, add new, and we will take the data file iris.arf that's provided with Weka workbench directory. And for example, we will try to use the algorithm called naive base. We go to the classifier, naive base. We selected that and click on OK. In iteration control, I'm going to consider just one iteration and we will experiment with the type cross validation with number of false 10. And of course, our task is classification, not regression. That's why this classification radio button has been chosen. So when it is done, we are left with one single thing, the destination file. So in Weka experiment environment, you can either save your results in R file or in CSV file. Also, you have an option to save it in a database for which you need to have a JDBC connection with the database. So for the simplicity's sake of the tutorial, I'm just showing you how you can save the results into an R file or an, and also into a CSV file. So for the first time, we will select CSV file and we are naming the file experiment. Or you can also select the desired place in your hard disk where this experiment file is going to be saved. So we are on the desktop experiment. Okay, so click OK. And then we go to the run tab and we have a start button here. We click that. So it started and finished and there was no error. So when we're done with this, you can see that on my desktop we have a comma separate value of CSV file called experiment. So you can open that by double clicking that and it will open with Microsoft Excel. So here you can see that we have numbers of columns and those columns are also designated with labels. First one is dataset. The second column named B is the number of run. C is the number of fold, D is the scheme that we used, that's the classifier we used, that's naive base. And we have the other informations here as well, for example, percentage correct, percentage incorrect, kappa statistics, absolute errors, root mean squared errors, and so on. So in this way, you can save the results provided by Weka into a comma separated value file. So let's take a look how you can do that to save the results into an R file. So on the setup tab of Weka experiment environment, we choose the R file as our file format. And also we are saving the same at the same place desktop with the same name experiment. But only difference is the file is now .rf. By keeping all other things as the same as our previous setup, with ids.r file as our dataset and naive base as our algorithms with tenfold cross validation with one iteration, we then again go to the run tab and click on start. So as it as it finishes, you can see that on desktop you have an R file called experiment.r. If you click right click on that and we edit that with Notepad plus plus, then you can see that this is the results what we've got so far from Weka. 
So this is the same file that produced during our first run with CSV. The only difference is that it has been made, it has been converted into an R file. And most importantly, you can use either of the file, the Microsoft Excel file dot CSV file or this dot R file. You can reuse them in your future experiment. Hope that helps. And I'll be back with loads more with Wake Up. Thank you.